So now we are in City of Beats, a roguelike game. Let's have a look and check out our settings as well. Windows full screen vibration goes or it goes off. <laughs> Graphics quality is on. Awesome. So you've got meh, okay, pretty nice, awesome, or war. Let's go to war. This thing is on. Volume is up and we'll go through. As we're going to go through, let's go play the game. City of Beats. Level numero uno. Objective. Get to the final building and destroy the Zeit Gerber. Okay. But you have to do that. Combat encounter. Install a modificator as a reward. As we move in with the taxi there. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, the choices are A's in the options menu there, right? We, we've got to get... Whoa! Graphics. All right. Okay. Hold right trigger to attack. Oh, I stood on things and died. So we're trying to shoot down the enemies here. Press light trigger to adapt. You're briefly invincible and reflect projectiles. Oh, that's cool. So as long as you have the little shield up, you can reflect projectiles. So we're taking out little orbs here. Oh, no. A solid android cactus could be very similar to that. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh, music is changing when the enemies are all blowing up and they're moving to the beat too. Interesting. Oh, the music is based on more. Listen, 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 listen. Your gun is the synth light. That's cool. Okay, let's claim a reward. Choose a mod. Aimbot. Your attack projectiles seek nearby enemies. Your aiming sucks. This one is for you. Aftershock. Your power attack automatically fires a second time with fewer projectiles. Damage per beat. Your power attack projectiles stick to enemies longer and deal damage over time. I'm going to go with aimbot because I'm cheating. <laughs> I like that. All oh, right, return to our... Uh, Claim your float reward and return to your hover car. So anywhere hover car and away we go. Okay. So I wonder if everything's going to... Oh, so we get to change, right? Hold on, hold on. So random event. Who knows what's on that rooftop? Well, at least your scanner doesn't. Combat encounter. Craft a power upgrade as a reward. Or gain something as a reward. So let's go combat encounter where we gain... I guess we're gaining power? Let's see what this is. So we're on a cross. And now we run through. And what do we get? Hold left bumper to shoot your power attack. Oh! It'll trigger on the next beat, so charge it right to fire it through at you. Oh! That's actually pretty cool. And then my gun is overheated. Okay, so I gotta be careful with my power shot. I like how everything has music beats to it as well. Do, 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 do. That's cool. Uh, so can we do anything else? So it's just dodging that right now. Pick up the item. Choose a power. Get out of here. Your attack power deals. Your power attack deals 20% more damage on enemies below 30% health. Your attack deals 10% more damage, but also produces heat. And dashing will reduce heat by 10%. Oh, big old damage to enemies that are at 30% health. Thank you. So let's go through again. Let's go for another run here. We can only go down to the combat encounter here. Gain a circle as a reward. Here we go. Let's hit the tune that we make. Wonderful tune. That was a crit. So the blue things are shield, which is nice. And then you get your health as well. So we've not lost any health yet. I like how your gun won't actually go down if you are still firing it. But it doesn't increase your heat as well, which is cool. Blue energy orbs drop that destroyed enemies, recharge your shield, and weapon supercharge. 
So make sure to collect as many of them as possible. And that just gave me money. So that just gave me the yellow orby thing money stuff by the looks of it. So the question is, where do we spend that? Where do we spend that? Oh, at the shop, surprisingly. Let's go and see what we get in the shop then. Let's see how much money we actually need for this. Well, hello there, stranger. I'm Shop EB01 at your service. I sell various items that will help you tremendously through your expedition in the city for a small price. Let me see your goods. A tuning kit gains 20 stack. That's a lot, but I don't know what the stack does. Choose an upgrade from a selection of upgrades. And during the next three encounters, your shield is increased by five. Well, we going to buy the upgrade, so let's go through. Too stubborn to die when your health is below 20. Any health you, any damage you receive is reduced by 50. Your attack deals 10% more damage while your weapon is close to overheating. And your attack's critical damage is increased by 50% crit damage. Crit damage is always nice. I'll take crit damage. So now we have to leave. We've got a mystery. Random event or elite combat encounter. Increased difficulty but better loot. Craft an efficiency upgrade as a reward. Oh, yes, please. See, I've not actually played Slay the Spire or FTL, so those are other games I'm going to have to look at if I like games like this, which, hint, I do. I really do like roguelikes. Like, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of roguelikes and roguelikes, so happy to play some more of these. I wonder if we can, like, dodge, send bullets back. Maybe other bullets, but not these ones, I guess. Oh, I overheated. Okay, my weapon is supercharged, so now we can... See if you supercharge the weapon, it increases the tempo of the music as well, or the intensity of the music. Ooh. Once you've got, you can supercharge your weapon once you've collected enough blue orbs in an encounter, but now we get an efficiency upgrade, which will generate 10 shield when supercharging your weapon. Whenever your shield is broken, your dash has no cooldown for three seconds, and your damage is increased by 30 while well, at maximum. Let's go with maximum. High confidence shield here. High confidence shield, please. Hmm. The branching encounters you're choosing from is exactly how Slay the Spire and FTL work. See, I like that. Elite combat. Install a modifier. Gain stuff. Craft efficiency. Well, do you know what? Let's just go for another elite modifier here. Ultradian Bombarder. Your hovercar scanners discovered a bombard player to get bombarded with projectiles. The question is, is this a survival thing or is this a killy thing? Oh, yeah, you gotta balance the risk of an encounter versus reward, indeed. Yep, this is a boss fight. I like how the enemies are moving to the beat as well. Oh, the boss does big attacks like that. Here it comes, here it comes. So when you hear big attack noises, that's the boss doing its thing. So everything is subtly on the beat here. Or maybe not subtly, but for me it seems very subtle. Oh no, we got double enemies. Do, 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 do. Oh, my shield is low. Ow. Did we take it out? Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really a rhythm game so much as it's the game itself that just makes music. Actions like your power type produce heat, so be careful while using them and make sure you don't overheat. Your power shot projectiles stick to enemies longer and deal damage over time. Your attack shoots a single projectile that bounces to a nearby enemy and deals increased damage. Your power attack automatically fires a second time with fewer projectiles. Let's go for aftershot on that one then. And we want to see how it turns out. I like the fact that you can see the list of the stuff that you've got there alongside all the stuff at the top too. And now we've got a random event because who knows. 
It's a dark trade. Ooh. A creepy mechanic wants to trade, but it is not the metal that they need. Lose 40 HP. Just pay me for the juice. Gain 30 orbs. Lose 30 HP. Or you can leave. You know what? Go big or go home. Lose 40 HP. Your critical chance is increased by 22% when hitting undamaged enemies. Your power attack deals 20% more damage on enemies below 40%. And you can level that up. Regenerate 10 shield when doing your... Ooh, get out of here. Level it up. I'm now down to 34 health because of what we did there. Uh, let's go to the shop. Maybe we can buy some health in this one. Can you give me some health? That's a lot of stuff. Reboot buff. The next time you die, you would gain 25 health instead. But we don't have enough, so I'm going to just have to buy the tuning kit. We didn't get to find anything that we do with the tuning kit, so we might be dying soon. Ah, oh, no! All right. Hopefully we don't die. But maybe we will. Let's run our way through and see what happens. Oh. Mm. Do, do, do. Okay, hold on. And it might be for meta upgrades between runs, yeah. Do, 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 do. See, now my super weapon has changed because I fired double shots now. Okay, this is actually really good. I quite like this. Make sure you get through. Don't get, don't take damage. Don't take damage. You're good. Regen your health. Nice. Getting red barrels to explode is always fun. So make sure you shoot them when enemies are nearby. Your attack deals 10% more damage while your weapon is close to overheating. Your attacks deal 20% more damage, but also produces heat and decreased cooldown after. Oh yeah, regain composure, please. Thank you. More shoosty after overheating is good. So the green stuff I thought was health. It's not actually health. So we're now going to head to our final fight. It's the boss fight. The target of your bounty hunt. Good luck. Will we win? Will we die? We tried it in Ember Knight and we died on the boss. Will we be able to do it here? Destroying this giant drone ball is a total different beast. Here we go. Begin combat simulation. Giant robot ball. Ooh. Oh, it's got laser beams. That was a correct shot there, which was nice. Okay, fire on. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, enemy fell off the edge and blew up apparently. Okay, we got the big enemy here as well, which is bad for us because that means I need to be ready to try and dodge when it fires. Ow, not like that. Oh, I got a double. I think I ran into that enemy there. I need the boss to become vulnerable because if the boss becomes vulnerable, then I can shoot it. The boss has run away though. Boss is trying to squish me! It's moving around and it's trying to squish me! Okay, I need to charge up the heat there. Ice crust coming out. Oh, did you see that big crit there? 105 shots on each of the bullets there. Supercharged weapon when the boss comes down. Oh, okay, we got new shield, we got new enemy thing here. I don't know what it is though. 
It's a deflector shield and a laser beam. But when it's laser beaming, it can't hit me. Oh, no. We're almost there. I just need to hit the boss. Yeah, there you go. Victory. Booyah. Claim our reward. We get all the green stuff. I'm hoping we can spend that through the run. We got a victory there. So we run through our escape, and is that it? It heals us back to full. Oh, a new area? Hub world? Yeah! Great job, you did it! Please wishlist and follow the game on Steam and join us on Discord if you want to stay up to date. We're doing regular public playtests where you can play through the latest version of the game and help shape the game with your feedback. You can start a new expedition, have fun. You can tune your trays. You can just chill out and relax a bit. Or you could exit. But as the game says, why would you leave though? What's the chill out? Can we just like chill out? It's literally just the mode here where you get to hit the button. And just chill out where you're up on the top of the rooftops. You know what that's? Yeah. You just want to listen to the music? You just want to chill? There you go. Take it. Go for it. All right, let's see what the tuning your traits are. Tune your traits, 219 unspent. Hit point maximum, 5. Increases it by 10 per level. Shield capacity. Increases maximum shield capacity by 1 per level. Damage output, 3% per level. Critical hit chance, 0.5 per level. Heat reduction. Improves heat reduction over time by 5%. Dash distance can be increased. Your orb attraction can be increased and your compatibility. Chance to find higher level upgrades by 5% per level. Well, for me, the way I would play that is I would go straight for the damages and the crit damages here as well. Seeing it immediately, you can see as you go through, more and more needs to get spent to go up and in and go through. You can max that out in the demo there, which is nice. What else can we do? We can also do the... You know what? I might as well just go full damage and see what arms. But there you go. You can tune your traits with the lovely stuff there as well. And you can start a new expedition if you wanted to. But one expedition, one run and done is enough for a first look video at this one. But uh, I'm going to be really honest here. Expect this to be on my wish list and expect to see this in the future because that was good fun. I wonder if we're going to have different weapons in that in the future. Change up the way the weapons work. Maybe different bosses, different levels, different... I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But honestly, City of Beats, very good first impression here. Very enjoyable. City of Beats demo. It is called City of Beats, Chenin. Uh, that is what it is there. Yes, I did. I just said it. But you know what that means? It also means it is the end of this video as well. End of this first look of the game. If you think you'll like it, if you think it looks cool, make sure you give it a wish list. You can find it on Steam under City of Beats, part of the Steam uh, Steam Next Festival. I will put a link in the description below as well. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the like button as well as the notification bell as well. It'll appear on the screen down below there as well. And I would love it if you would come and join us live over twitch.tv forward slash argic. It is where we stream these games, we check these out, we have our first looks, we have fun, we enjoy ourselves and we chill out, you know. We'd love to see you over here. Come and have some fun. Come and join us. Come say hi. Put a link to that in the description below as well. But thank you very much for joining us for now. I will catch you later. I'll see you for the next one. Whatever demo it may be. Goodbye.